investigating factors that success of online learning class during pandemic by Malaysian University experience. This our title uh, for research proposal MGT648. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Adi Shazrin. My teammate Muhammad Ashraf, Zari Zalfan and Muhammad Idias. We are from BA2465C. This presentation is prepared for Professor Dr. Nozaidi B. Muhammad. Uh, in our uh, presentation uh, for research proposal, we, uh, we have three issues. Uh, first, pandemic COVID-19, Malaysia UCT experience and online learning class. Uh, for uh, problem, we has identified we has three. Uh, first, student motivation. The level of intrinsic motivation and intrinsic motivation consider considerably lower on students taking part in online classes than students in face-to-face -face classes because the students deem to face-to-face -face classes harder than online class. Student uh, satisfaction. The learning satisfaction can be low when online learning effectiveness is also low. Also, it has uh, shown that a low level of energy in online learning can lead to a low level of satisfaction. Instructor communication. Another uh, student complained that online learning just only can be more computer to computer interaction, not to person to person interaction. Uh, for the gap of knowledge, uh, student motivation and uh, satisfaction. Previous uh, research has discussed satisfaction and motivation of using online learning based on student experience, but it has not conducted in Malaysia. Uh, it has a uh, different demography, culture, and circumstance. For instructor communication, the study aims to explore the critical challenges that face the current online learning system and investigate the main factors that support the usage of learning uh, system during COVID-19 pandemic, which has covered two countries only like Jordan and Saudi Arabia. For the research objective, uh, our main objective in research proposal is to examine the factors that influence the success of online learning class during pandemic from Malaysian University experience. Uh, for the specific objective, to investigate the relationship between the student experience and student motivation. Second, to investigate the relationship between student satisfaction and student motivation. Uh, after that, to investigate the relationship between instructor communication and student motivation. Uh, then, to investigate the relationship between student motivation and success of online learning. Last, uh, our research objective is to Validate a proposed model. Assalamualaikum and hello to everyone. My name is Muhammad Ilyas. Okay, now let's talk about the justification of this study. Okay, learning management system uh, use uh, has increased. So, learning management system have been increasingly popular among educational institutions. According to MISRA, it provides a massive opportunity for business to create and Im improve a learning management system for educational institution okay now next as a result for, of the covid-19 pandemic every educational institution has moved course to virtual classroom rahim said in order to prevent the spread of virus that caused covid-19 university have decided to suspend all the face to face session including the laboratories uh, other learning activities in addition they have obliged uh, students to study remotely from home okay not only that al tunibat also said that we are now in emergency and must respond with various and readily accessible learning methods such as online learning programs and mobile learning apps especially in the COVID-19. Okay. So now what is the significant study from this research? Okay. First is government. Okay. Government need to create a learning government uh, environment that is engaging as possible, ensuring that broadband connection is viable in every part of the country. Encourage students to take part in the transition to Industry 4.0 and increase earning. Okay. Now, next to it, how about the industry? The creation of Industry Revolution 4.0 in the manufacturing and processing industry has piqued an interest of both industry participants and researchers. This is according to uh, Peter Radan Leaf. 
expo community is the use of virtual community as in real network through social media to chase a mutual interest or goals okay new knowledge okay have the desire to participate in the support and change have the knowledge required for the change according to john sanders now let's move to the scope of study okay they have three scope of study first one is online learning Online learning is any form of learning conducted while you over the internet. It can be a student who use a laptop or phone to study uh, in online. Okay. The second point is maintenance the experience to learn from all faculty in UITM Puncha Alam. So our study is the one area in UITM Puncha Alam, Selangor Blanchard. So the, and the third point is pandemic COVID-19. It's a previous student who experience online class during pandemic COVID-19. It can be current and also it can be a, a previous student who experience online learning during the pandemic COVID-19. Now let's we move to the operation definition. Actually, we have five for operation definition for each theoretical framework. Okay, for the first one is success of online learning class. It is understanding, grade, and preparation. And student experience, it, it, it can be a knowledge, financial, and geography. And for the third point is student motivation. It can be intrinsic motivation level, intrinsic motivation level. And the fourth is the remote situation. It can be classmate interaction, lecturer interaction, and faculty interaction. And the last one is instructor communication. It can be relevancy, accuracy, and approach. Now let's we move to the she mobile learning model. Okay, for the she mobile learning model, it can be related with the student satisfaction and and instructor communication. Okay, for the student satisfaction, you can see the keyword simulated gaming for student satisfaction which is refer to the student satisfaction and for the instructor communication you can refer to the uh, discussion uh, sorry you can refer to the uh, relevance confidence peer-to-peer -peer. keyword is about the relevant confidence peer-to-peer -peer because they use a video and gmail to communicate with other students okay the second part is to the online learning readiness model it uh, the keyword for the student online readiness model is Learner satisfaction, which is can be related with the student satisfaction. Okay, and the third is uh, the third underpinning model is self determination theory model, which is student motivation. So, student motivation, it can you can refer to the keyword uh, self determination motivation for student motivation. Okay, you can refer to the uh, keyword self determination motivation. And uh, then next, we move to the methodology. Okay, for methodology, we use a quantitative research. On a survey plus questionnaires to identify sampling bachelor degree students from faculty of business and management at UITM Puncak Alam from part one until part six students that had gone through online learning class in the previous semester population and sample one thousand ah uh, sorry eighty thousand population two hundred respondents from faculty of business and management if there are sixteen courses use six percent or thirty percent of each courses each, oh, sorry each course program. Courses under Faculty of Business and Management such as International Business, Human Resource, Finance and Marketing use software SPSS for data analysis and data interpretation use descriptive analysis and multiple linear regression. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Zariza Fan Muhammad Zaini. So I will explain about theoretical framework. So here we have three independent variables which are student experience, student satisfaction and also instructor communication for mediator or independent variable we have student motivation and the last one for the dependent variable it was the success of online learning so we proceed to conceptual framework which are more specific compared to theoretical framework for student experience it was based on knowledge, knowledge, financial, and also geography. For student satisfaction, it was based on classmate interaction, lecturer interaction, and also faculty interaction. For instructor communication, it was based on accuracy, relevancy, and also approach. For student motivation, the three dimensions are intrinsic motivation level, extrinsic motivation level and also motivation level. For the success of online learning, the three dimensions are understanding, grade and also preparation. So proceed to hypothesis. 
the study we have four hypotheses. Number one, there is a relationship between student experience to student motivation. Number two, there is a relationship between student satisfaction to student motivation. Number three, there is a relationship between instructor communication to student motivation. And last one, there is a relationship between student motivation to success of online learning. So this is example of questionnaire. We have the questionnaire for the profile of respondent and also the question about regarding to our variable. So this is demographic profile. As you can see, the majority respondent is aged from 18 until 25 years old. For the education background, it was based on respondent previous background. The majority is from diploma from a public university and the minority is from bachelor degree. For the gender, female is greater than male and for marital status, the majority is single which 98.50% So for internal consistency, we have 5 variables which are student motivation, student satisfaction, instructor communication, student experience and also success of online learning. So as you can see all the variable cross bars is greater than 0 0.7 which is the data is good and also of course obviously acceptance. So the cross bars the highest is for instructor communication by 0 0.878 so for the correlation among the variable as you can see all the the result we get is uh, lower than 0 0.8 which is all the variable and all the correlation is accepted so as you can see all the result we get is we have two star which means it was correlation is significant at the 0 0.01 level so for hypothesis result, all the hypotheses are significant because as you can see all the hypothesis the significant value is less than 0 0.05 and also for the beta the greater the beta the better the hypothesis so the highest beta is the hypothesis regarding to relationship between student motivation to success of online learning Okay, now we are at the end of this pre presentation. Let's discuss on what we can recommend from this study. Okay, The Malaysian Education Ministry should create authentic learning experience before the learning and teaching session part. Keep them an overview of online learning, your uh, association learning management system, LMS, and their online course to assist them in succeeding in new environment. Faculty can also be encouraged to create a podcast. Many students respect their professor perspective on the things they are studying. And and many more. It's a lot. Okay. As conclusion, online learning is the dominating approach for education today as it allows students to learn at their speed while also providing them with access to the rest of the world for research reason. So that's all from us. Thank you.